Greetings, Dr. Dominique Reese here, owner of Reese Financial Services, creator of Master My Money. Today's Tip Tuesday is your credit score is made up of these five areas. And all the time I get questions about how do I clean up my credit? How do I increase my score? Well, first of all, let's make sure you know what your score is made up of. Once you know this, you'll start to get clued in on exactly what to do to increase your score. So let's hop right in. First thing, 35% of your credit score is attributed to paying on time and paying in full. This is what's known as your payment history. That's it. Second thing, 30% of your score is attributed to what we call your debt utiliz utilization ratio. This is the ratio that basically says of your revolving debt, meaning your credit card debt, how much of that are you using? So if you have a $1,000 credit limit, that's what's available to you, and you're using 300 of it, that means you're at a 30% debt utilization ratio. You're using 30% of the debt, 30% of the credit that's available to you. That's 30% of your score. <clears throat> Typically, status quo says you want to keep that at 30% or below. So when you look at your credit cards, if you're using more than 30% of them, the first thing you want to do is start reducing them to at least 30% of the balance, and you should see an increase in your score. Thirdly, 15% of your score is attributed to the length of history. How long have you been building credit? That's it. This is why we always suggest do not close, <clears throat> sorry, do not close any accounts that you've had for a long time. They're adding to your length of history. The fourth thing, 10% of your score is attributed to inquiries. So every time you're out in the world and you're applying for credit, that is a hard inquiry. That impacts your score and it stays on your report for about two years. Anytime a creditor or a company pulls your report, that is a soft uh, inquiry if you did not give them permission. And so that does not impact your score. But again, stays on your report for about two years. So the more you have on there, the more inquiries, the more that you go out in the world and apply for things, that's going to decrease your score. It looks desperate to creditors. Why are you out here trying to get credit? Are you cash strapped? Do you have any issues going on? We are not trying to lend you money. So that can send a red flag. The last 10% of your score is attributed to a mix of credit. Meaning, do you have an auto loan? Do you have student loan? Do you have credit cards? Do you have a mortgage? Um, what kinds of debt do you have? The mix of credit is 10% of your score. Now, that does not mean go out and get a mortgage. That does not mean go out and get an auto loan. It simply means creditors want to be able to see how you manage different types of debt. Different types of debt require different management. You're used to paying things differently when you have different types of debt. So that attributes to 10% of your score. So really quickly, 35% of your score, paying on time, paying in full. 30% of your score, debt utilization ratio. How much of the credit available to you are you using? 15% of your score, length of history. How long have you been building credit? 10% of your score, inquiries. Are you out here applying for everything under the sun? And last 10% of your score, credit mix. What types of debt are you currently managing? So I hope this was valuable to you. It will clue you in on ways that you can start to increase your score simply by knowing what your score is made up of. I hope this was valuable. Until we meet again, peace.